Number one, how do you come up with a good question? Letter A, by testing the data. Letter B, from the predictions. Letter C, by formulating a hypothesis. Or letter D, by making an interesting observation. The correct answer is letter D by making an interesting observation. Prior to investigation, a scientist must define the question to be addressed. This crucial first step in the scientific process involves observing some natural phenomena of interest. This observation should then lead to a number of questions about the phenomena. Question number two, what is a hypothesis? Letter A, an experiment. Letter B, an untestable statement. Letter C, a well-supported explanation of observations. Or letter D, a tentative explanation for a phenomenon in the natural world. The correct answer is letter D, a tentative explanation for a phenomenon in the natural world. When we say tentative explanation, it means it is not yet verified and can be tested by further investigation. Thus, a hypothesis should be testable and falsifiable. If a statement is made that it cannot be tested and disproved, then it is not a hypothesis. Third question, what is the difference between a question and a hypothesis? Letter A, a question is an assumption and the hypothesis is the answer to the assumption. Letter B, a question is the summary of data collected and the hypothesis is the interpretation of the data. Letter C, a question is what you end up with after the test and the hypothesis is a summary of the conclusions. Or letter D, a question follows from an interesting observation and the hypothesis is an educated guess to that question. The correct answer is letter D. A question follows from an interesting observation and the hypothesis is an educated guess to that question. Fourth question. In an experiment, the one variable that is changed is called the A experimental variable, letter B controlled variable, letter C dependent variable, or letter D independent variable. The correct answer is letter D, independent variable. The independent variable is also known as the manipulated variable. It is the part of the experiment that the experimenter has direct control over and is changed on purpose. Number 5. A scientist conducted an experiment to determine how the amount of salt in a body of water affects the number of plants that can live in the water. In this experiment, the independent variable is letter A, the water, letter B, the temperature of water, letter C, the amount of salt in the water, or letter D, the number of plants in the water. An independent variable is the variable that is changed or controlled in a scientific experiment to test the effects on the dependent variable. In other words, the independent variable is the cause, while the dependent variable is the effect. 
In this problem, the answer is a letter C. The independent variable is the amount of salt in the water. In this experiment, the scientist tests the effect of the amount of salt dissolved in a body of water in the number of plants that can live in the water. Changing the amount of salt in the body of water may cause change in the number of plants grow. Thus, the amount of salt is the independent variable, while the number of plants is the dependent variable. Number 6. A scientist who wants to study the effects of fertilizer on plants sets up an experiment. Plant A gets no fertilizer. Plant B gets 5 mg of fertilizer each day. And plant C gets 10 mg of fertilizer each day. Which plant is the control group? Letter A, plant A. Letter B, plant B. Letter C, plant C. Or letter D, all of them. In an experiment, scientists compare experimental group and control group that are identical in all aspects except one. An experimental group receives the treatment whose effect researchers wish to study, whereas a control group does not receive the treatment. In other words, unlike the experimental group, the control group is not exposed to the independent variable under investigation, so it provides a baseline against which any changes in the experimental group can be compared. In the problem, the independent variable is the amount of fertilizer. Plant A does not receive fertilizer, while both plant B and C receive fertilizer. So, plant A is considered as the control group because it does not receive the treatment, which is the fertilizer, whereas the experimental groups are plant B and plant C. Thus, letter A, plant A is the correct answer for number 6. Number 7. When you decide whether or not the data supports the original hypothesis, you are letter A asking questions, B forming hypothesis, letter C making observations, or letter D drawing conclusions. The correct answer is letter D drawing conclusions. This is the part of scientific method wherein the experimenter decides whether the results of the experiment support the hypothesis or not. Question number 8. A scientist testing the effects of a chemical on mango yield sprays an orchard with the chemical. A second orchard does not receive the chemical. In the summer, the number of mangoes harvested from each forest is counted. Which of the following is the independent or manipulated variable in the experiment? Letter A, the chemical. Letter B, the number of mangoes. Letter C, the first R card. Or letter D, the second R card. To recall, the independent variable is the variable that is being changed in the experiment to see its effects. In the problem, the scientists test the effects of a chemical on mango yield. To see its effects, the scientists applied the chemical on the first R card while did not on the second R card. Thus, the independent variable is the chemical and that is letter A. Number 9. Sandro wants to know the effect of eating sugary snacks on performance in mathematics class. He decides to set up an experiment to find out which of the following groups of individuals would be in the control group. Letter A. Students who take a math class at their school. Letter B. Students taking any class at the school eating any foods. Or letter C. Students who take math class 
and who will be eating sugary snacks before math class? Or letter D, students who take math class, and who will not be eating sugary snacks before math class? To recall, the control group is the group that does not receive the treatment or not exposed to independent variable. In the problem, the independent variable is the eating of sugar snack before the math class. Thus, the control group is the class that does not receive the treatment or does not eat sugar snack before math class. Therefore, the correct answer is letter D. Students who take math class and who will not be eating sugary snacks before math class? Question number 10. Which question would be the best high-level scientific question? Letter A. How many lions live in Africa? Letter B. Who made the first telescope? Letter C. When did the dinosaurs go extinct? Or letter D. Does the type of soil affect the growth of pachai plant? Correct answer is letter D. A good scientific question should be objective and testable. An example of testable scientific question is one that includes two variables, the independent and dependent variable. For example, option D, does the type of soil affect the growth of pachai plant? The question has an independent variable, which is the type of soil, and the dependent variable which is the growth of the plant.